What's up, all? JC3 here with the Baller of YouTube, The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on what could be the largest rookie shoe deal ever with Zion Williamson. Only question is, which brand is going to offer it to him? Before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comments down below at any point during and after the video because I want to hear what you have to say. As I've referenced in past videos, having young potential stars on a basketball roster not only gives hope to a franchise on the court, but to brands for future product sales. And hopefully by now, Adidas knows this. I mean, let's think about it. Michael Jordan was considered too short by Adidas German executives and was passed on even when he wanted to sign with the brand out of college. LeBron James was swooped away from Adidas by Nike, all because of a lowball offer, and Kobe paid his way out of his Adidas contract because he couldn't stand the shoes anymore. Adidas did take a W when they lured James Harden away from Nike with a $200 million contract back in 2015, but as great as Harden is, he wasn't even considered a signature worthy player by Nike. So what can Adidas do to overcome some of the serious L's they've taken to Nike in the past? The answer is to sign the guy they've been with the longest, the guy that's the most hyped prospect since LeBron, Zion Williamson. Now to Adidas, it does hurt that Zion chose Duke, a Nike school, but they have to be confident considering their history with the forward. Take a look deeper into his high school highlights at Spartanburg Day. He's rocking the Harden Volume 1 during games. He's got the Adidas Harden shirt in interviews. How about AAU? Williamson played in the Adidas Gauntlet during the spring and summer, again rocking the three stripes. I believe this history is an advantage for Adidas, but we all know what it's going to come down to at the end of the day. Who's throwing the bag at Zion, and how big is that bag going to be? Well, according to Steph Marbury, If I was that kid, I'd be like, y'all want me? Okay, this is what I want. The the first thing I want, I want $500 million, I want a $500 million check right now. And this time, it's not just Adidas and Nike that are going to be fighting for Zion like it was for LeBron. No, no, no. The NBA sneaker competition has more companies involved now than it has for a very long time. Take Puma, for example. They recently signed Marvin Bagley to the largest rookie shoe and apparel contract since Kevin Durant's seven-year $60 million deal with Nike back in 2007. Bagley's contract is rumored to be around two to three million dollars a year for five years. These deals won't even compare to what Zion will be offered. Let's put Williamson on the LeBron rookie contract level. Okay, back in 2003, Nike signed James to a seven-year $90 million contract with incentives. If that was 2003, what does that number look like today? Considering the market has increased competition and a sneaker culture surrounding it that is bigger than it's ever been. Don't believe me? Just look at how many views sneaker shopping with Complex gets. Look at the prices that people are buying off-white Nike shoes for on resale. Look what happens every time you try for exclusive shoes on Nike sneakers. Okay, I may just be a little frustrated about the sneakers app at this point, but you get my point. 28 Zion isn't as good overall as 2003 LeBron, but he's by far the closest thing we've seen, and that in itself is enough to earn him a massive shoe contract the minute he's eligible to sign. Hey man, Steph Marbury's already lined up to make him a 51% partner with Starberry. We all gotta watch out for the triple Bs in LA. Hey! I doubt it! But for real, with all that competition in the market and tremendous potential and advertising capability that Zion brings to the table, this is the perfect storm for the largest rookie shoe and apparel deal in history to be offered. Y'all can quote me on that next spring. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Which shoe brand will sign Zion Williamson? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out!